Hello and welcome! I'm DDF Racer and today I'm going to be learning how to drive all over again. I recently hosted a Q&A session to celebrate reaching 5,000 subscribers on the channel. Thank you again for all of your support. And this one question got my attention. Could you do a video where all the inputs are inverted? Turn right to go left, brake pedal accelerates the car, shifting up actually downshifts the car, and so on. To answer your question, Sparkshot, yes, yes I can. So here I am at Mid-Ohio in the Radical SR9 Judd car in Race Room Racing Experience. It's a combo that I'm very familiar with because it was featured on one of the official Race Room ranked events a few weeks ago. And I also have a time on the leaderboard for this combo, so there's a nice easy reference point for, well, between my previous driving and whatever mess is about to happen in this video. Now the whole concept of this thing is literally as straightforward as it sounds. I'm going to go into the options now, and you can see at the moment, I'm steering right, steering left, and you can see the trace on the top of the screen is moving exactly the way you would expect it to. Check out the pedal cam, throttle puts the throttle down, and brake puts the brakes down as well. Let's change that, shall we? So let's go to controls. Okay, so steer left, turn the wheel right, steer right, turn the wheel left. We want to accelerate, we'll press the brakes, we want to brake, we'll press the accelerator, we want to shift up. We'll do the flappy paddle down, we want to shift down, we'll do the flappy paddle up, and that's it. Simple as that. The car is now going to do exactly the opposite of whatever I tell it to do, and exactly the opposite of everything my brain has been trained to do from several years of sim racing and real world driving as well. And this actually reminds me very much of a video I saw a few years ago now on the um, Smarter Every Day YouTube channel. A guy called Destin uh, actually went out and physically built a bicycle that was backwards. Uh, the steering column would rotate the wrong way. I'll put a link on top of the screen somewhere right now, guys, so you can go and check that out. I would thoroughly recommend it. It's such an awesome channel, especially if you love nerding out over engineering and mechanics and all that kind of stuff. Now, I just want to reiterate before I go out on track for the first time, I have not done any practice of this. I haven't, you know, gotten used to the steering controls before I press record on the camera. This is dead set going to be my first run, so yeah, let's do it. Whoa! Oh! Oh no, brakes! <laughs> I was trying to brake it immediately! It went the wrong... Oh wow, this is... No, no, no! No, that way! Oh, actually... I've immediately noticed a big problem! It's a load cell brake! And I'm trying to shift it down... No, there we go. It's a load cell brake, so I have to put a, quite a lot of force... No! I have to put quite a lot of force into the accelerator here. Well, when I say the accelerator, the brake. I have to uh, pump that pedal all the way down. Get ready, get on the brakes. Instinct's going to tell me to pull the wheel to the right, but now I have to do it the other way around. Oh, this is so, so bizarre. This is such a conscious effort. Ah! I, I can see myself getting cramp quite soon into this video because accelerate <laughs> instinct kicked into accelerate and I'm actually slamming the, the the new brakes on the steering kind of makes sense a little bit no it doesn't no it doesn't I'm going off there's a gravel <laughs> Oh, this is messing with my brain so much. Ah, it hurts. Basically, what I've learned from that lap is that you, you can't go anywhere near racing speed because as soon as you forget what you're doing, instinct kicks in. And it, yeah, instinct kicks in and you're going in completely the opposite direction. So I'm just going to take a nice slow lap here. I'm just going to get used to it a little bit. It's going to take it nice and easy. And remember, the right pedal goes on the brakes. And... <laughs> no, I'm up too much. Too much. I can feel the back of my calf like, uh, like a knot already. I might have to turn the dead zone down. Or dead zone up on the pedal, should I say. Or the sensitivity or something. Because I, I don't... <laughs> 
I'm not gonna I'm not gonna last. It's getting better, but it is not natural at all. But hey, I've not invalidated this lap so far. So far, there's still two corners to go. Ah. Concentrate! This is gonna be a far cry from anything I've ever said. Nope. Wrong way on the gears. What we'll be in fourth. Nope, fifth, no. Nope. Other way. Other way. What was that? Oh no, it was a one. 33.5 ah, ah, brain! No, other way, other way, other way. Oh, oh, that hurts. <laughs> that really hurts. <laughs> I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna get... Well, what was my previous time? It was a 1 minute 17.9. And that was a 133.5 I just did. If I can get within 10 seconds, if I can get into the 127s, let's just take it from there. Uh, no, no. Instinct kicked in. I needed to t slow the car down to get it to tip into the apex a bit more, and I just automatically went went for the went for the brakes, which actually sped the car up. So let's try again. I'll tell you what, though, having the accelerator on a really heavy load cell pedal. If you guys need help to stop losing the rear end and the traction, and just do that. Put a massive spring in your accelerator, so you have to basically put the whole weight of your leg behind it. Oh, no, no, oh, oh, I was going so well as well. No, no, break, break. Oh, that was going all right, but so something just, something just started to make sense then, but then as soon as you lose control, no, brakes, as soon as you lose control, it's like the default kicks back in again. Like, when you're driving on track, you've got this conscious effort of, you know, I'm going to steer left to go right, right to go left. And then, you know, as long as you keep it on the track, as long as you keep that concentration, it you can kind of, like, bodge your way through it. But as soon as you make a mistake, as soon as you try and correct, instinct kicks in and memory kicks in. And you find yourself, like, really confused. Because it's like, I'm braking, but it's not slowing down. It's like, of course it's not. You've just inverted the controls. It's the gears that are going to get me, I think. It's just so programmed in to pull for the upshift. I can't imagine doing an inverted H pattern. We're like six for first and first for sixth or something. I don't know, that would be, that would be pretty crazy. I challenged Tobias to do that in an NSU, even though it only has four gears, so that should make it a little bit easier. Oh, that corner again. It's always that corner. What lap time's that? Oh, 26. Well, that didn't take long. How low can we go? Oh. Oh, oh. It makes no sense! <laughs> like I said before, as soon as you try and correct, as soon as you lose it, as soon as you have to, like, instinctively pull the car back on course, it all just goes out the window. But I think first things first, I'm gonna knock that brake pedal down, the sensitivity or something, because, yeah, that is... <laughs> I'm gonna have so many bad cramps in my leg tonight if I don't. There we go, that's what we want. So now I can do that, and it's gonna accelerate a lot more smoothly, because I don't have to give it the force. still very clunky. It's not one fluid motion at all. It's not natural. Every input has to be consciously thought of. But it feels like it's kind of getting there a bit. Normally I drive in a VR headset and I'm doing this on pancake monitor mode today. So that's going to have an effect. And I know that when I set my time on the leaderboard previously, I was definitely running a setup that I'd been working on. Uh, because it was part of the weekly event, the weekly ranked event. Unfortunately, I no longer have that setup. Because that was before I got my graphics card and did a big reinstall on my computer, so I actually didn't back that setup file up because, you know, I'm a pro streamer and rookie mistakes like that. Oh, oh no, it's going wide. It's going wide. Ah, oh, that was two and a half seconds up as well. It's so twitchy when you get near to the edge of the track and you have to have, like, fine control to, like, kind of micro-corrections almost, you know? And you find yourself, like, micro-correcting in the wrong direction. Oh, no! Accelerator! Brain fart! Uh, it's not exactly the easiest car track combo to be trying to build speed on. I could have picked something a lot more stable, that's for sure. But where's the fun in that? 
It's a challenge, right? It's got to be challenging. We're up on the delta here. Oh, wrong gear. Three and a half seconds up. Oh, 23-1. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're within like six, seven seconds now. That That is a lot closer than I thought I would be. A lot quicker than I thought I would be. Quick disclaimer, by the way. I have just left the session and rejoined again because out of the corner of my eye, I could see some of the footage was a, a little bit stuttery. Turn my graphic settings down a bit because... Like I said in the video before, I don't really record in pancake mode that often, so I didn't I didn't think Race Room would struggle on a 3080 like it has been doing so far. Just in case the overlays and, you know, you're accusing me of not doing a fair challenge and it's rigged, I just had to quit and load back in again, so that's why the times have, have reset. So anyway, it's back on. Ah. Just stepping out of the game for like two minutes, getting out of that zone out of that flow where you, it's such a conscious effort to reverse your inputs like my brain just went straight back to what it knew previously it's like everything i've just learned in the past 10 20 minutes is just gone It's always this last sector that trips me up. To be fair, it's always the last sector that trips me up when I'm not driving with inverted controls anyway. But that felt good. What time is it? 1.21.3! So I'm like three and a half seconds off my previous pace. 21.305 would put me in 50th place on the board out of... 68. Come on, Sticky, set a time on this leaderboard. You know it's the right thing to do. If I can find two seconds on that lap, I'll actually match Andy Goodwin's time, uh, one, of, one of the devs over at Race Room. Okay, I think I found my target. Let's get into the 119s. Oh, I hit the grass going in there. That felt good so far. I wonder if going back to regular driving after this is going to feel horrible. Like, I wonder if I'm doing some kind of permanent damage by getting used to this and pushing the useful information out of my brain. I don't know. W one way to find out, though, we'll do it, we'll do it at the end of the video. I'll just go and set a normal lap and see if I can get anywhere, <laughs> anywhere near again if it takes... A f Whoa! It takes a few laps to get used to it again. That's what I mean about the corrections. It's just automatic brain just goes whoop and you, you accentuate and exaggerate the mistake you're already making. Oh, that felt good. That felt very good. No! Oh, no! Oh. Well, if I've done it once, I can do it again. And by that I mean improve, not bin it. Because we all know I can bin it. My left foot is really starting to hurt now. Because, well, load cell. You're not meant to press down on a load cell for this long. Ah, oh, come on, Dan. The habits aren't sticking. It's not, it's not like I'm getting used to it at all. It's still such a conscious effort to do every movement. It's not like it's getting easier. He says as he absolutely smashes the first corner and the keyhole as well. That's three tenths. And then just reverted back to just hardwired. Ah, oh. oh, as soon as you try and push, your brain just flips back. Did I just save a slide? <laughs> I think I did. Let's see if I can string more than one lap together. Because I think the problem so far has been the fact I've been restarting and restarting and restarting. You don't get that flow, that familiarity, you know? No! No! Oh! That could have been more, but that's still half a second up. 120.7! This whole multiple laps thing is really helping. You have to build up the habits. It's not instinct. It's not muscle memory. It's literally just reacting from moment to moment. There we go, that's even better! A 120.0! We're almost into the 19s! Wow, okay. Maybe the trick is just not to restart. Something is happening here. Something's going on in my brain. Oh, 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 
Oh, oh. I don't know why, but it just flipped. Everything just flipped again. It was going so well. I think I did four laps in a row then. And then just coming through those final sequence of corners, I think I overcorrected and then it just went back to normal. And then I'm braking when I should be accelerating and trying to shift. Like I went into sixth instead of second. One minute 20.011. That is so close to the 19s. Okay, that would put me in 31st place, just ahead of Mike King, one of the uh, Oz and Zed sim racing regulars. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Mike. <laughs> I just beat your time going backwards. Oh, and there's Matt. There's Sun Edu. Challenge on. Right, let's let's try and let's try and get a 19.499 or better. That's half a second. Uh, half a second sounds easy. But yeah, maybe it'll just take another five laps in, in quick succession to do that. So let's give it a go. And immediately again, just having a quick break just to do that little piece to camera. It's gone. All that instinct's gone again. That's, yeah, it's gone. It's gone. It's, as soon as you stop, it just... All that familiarity and comfort just departs your brain completely. And you're back to square one again when it's like, okay, how does this work? Two tenths. Oh, that's that's a that's a big understeer. The time is definitely there. I can see the time is there. I just need to go and get it. Oh, I got on the power a bit too early then. Gonna lose a bit of time towards the line. It's still two tenths up. I'm into the nineteens. 119.8! Oh, that's getting close. That's getting close. On my previous lap, it's the best first sector ever done. It all went wrong here. So I can gain some of that time back in the second and third sectors, hopefully. Not by doing that, though. Oh, round it goes. Round it goes. I thought I'd saved it then, but no. Too wide. Oh, locked it up. Oh, that left leg is really starting to ache now. First sector's okay. Very scruffy, though. We've matched our best so far. It's all about the second sector where the time loss was. Hold it together. Hold it together. What time is it? 19.3! Is there more time in it? I reckon if I nail that, I could get an 18. But then, how <laughs> how long do you keep going on a challenge like this? I mean, you could go all day, and I haven't got all day. I've been going for, yeah, way more than an hour now, so... Oh, okay, right, what time is it? It's 7.22pm. You can see in the bottom right corner of your screen, my overlay has the local time. It is 19.23. When that hits 19.33, that's it, session over for me. Let's get into the 1 minute 18s in the next 10 minutes. That corner's my weakest. I'm really struggling to get it turned in for that one. Okay, let's go for a restart. This lap's going to be a write-off anyway. If I can get that, there's my three-tenths. There's my three-tenths immediately in that one corner. I can feel it. Oh, I lost a few tenths. A half a second off. But it's close, though. That's encouraging. That's not... Still only a tenth and a half down. Oh, 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 oh. The autocorrect wobble came in again. I went spearing more into the fence than away from it. Okay, time is running out. Six minutes to go. Oh, no, that's... <laughs> What's that about? Oh no, I hit the grass on the outside. Oh no. Now I'm starting to really push those limits and I'm starting to have to correct throughout the lap. That's what's throwing me off. It's the corrections that are getting me now. I think I've got the general feel of the reversed controls down pat. Just when it goes wrong, like I said so many times in this video, instinct kicks in. 
Uh, running it wide then. I'm running out of time. Four minutes to go. Oh, shocking first sector. Half a second down. I think this might be it. Yep, clock just went 32. I think this is my last attempt now. No! No! Br oh, brain! <laughs> Why'd you do that to me? It, do you know what? I'm going to bend the rules. It still says 33 on my clock. I'm going to go for one more. Okay, now the clock says 34. This is definitely my last effort. I'm going to bend the rules as much as I can. Nineteen point two oh four. Oh, it's still better than what I set out to beat in the very first instance. But I know there's more time in that. I know I can get an eighteen. <laughs> I know I can get a one minute eighteen with that if I keep on trying. My brain is just melted right now. Absolutely melted. Blah. But anyway, what I'm going to do just out of curiosity, one more thing before I wrap this video up. I am going to put those controls back to normal. Just to see if I can just switch back like that, you know? Whether my brain is now going to automatically go, Oh, you're steering the wrong way again. Break up a dead zone. I need to reduce that as well, so that's good. Right, that's everything back to normal. Oh, it feels fine. It feels absolutely fine, actually. Um, I would have expected a bit more of a transition period, but this is, uh, y yeah, this is just, it's like nothing ever happened. Although I'm not as fast. I'm actually slower. I'm seven tenths down. Let's try again. Surely inverted Dan can't beat normal Dan. That, that wouldn't make any sense. But it looks like it might be the case right now. I'm actually down on my best lap time. Oh, wow. This car feels like a completely different car to drive. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this at all. No, this, 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 this feels horrible. Oh, okay, that was weird. That was weird. I went to turn left then. Maybe I have done some serious permanent mental damage here with this. Something doesn't quite make sense. I can't explain it. But there's just some uncanny, like, eerie, odd feeling that when I'm turning into corners, I'm finding myself questioning it now. I'm like, is that the way you want to turn? Like, yeah. I've been going to this for like 10 minutes now, and I'm still half a second off my previous best with controls that were the wrong way around. There we go. That's more like it. 119.152. Finally, after 15 minutes, I managed to beat my time, but less than a tenth of a second. Wow. That's not what I expected at all. To be able to be 1.3 seconds off my previous best time with inverted controls. I mean, yeah, sure enough, I had about an hour's worth of practice to get to that point. It, it, it just it just doesn't make any sense. I didn't think I'd be getting anywhere near that. And then 
What's even more surprising is switching back to normal controls, how initially it was like, yeah, this is fine, but then it was more like, no, actually, um, it's not fine. It feels really unnatural again now. And going through the whole cycle and taking another 15 minutes to get back to a point where I could do a, a 1 minute 19.1, which is still 1.2 seconds off my previous best, but better than my inverted time but only by less than a tenth it just it just boggles the mind uh, speaking of minds being boggled yeah just trying to wrap my head around that 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 method of controlling the car is just <laughs> give it a go and give it a go for an hour that, that's my challenge to you right now watching this video if you're a sim racer just try it you know you get so used to driving the same cars on the same tracks and you get used to your instincts but with this, it kind of makes you just completely reevaluate the way you control the car, the inputs that you have on the car. Like looking back at some of the footage, I found I was so much smoother on the brakes and my steering inputs because I was so much more conscious about what I was doing. Like I wasn't like driving on instinct like I normally do. With this, the wheel being the other way around, I found myself thinking very, very, very carefully about everything that I was doing and it took an immense amount of concentration to not throw it off the road but ultimately I think it was smoother I don't know what do you guys think I'd be so interested to know what you thought of that in the comments and also if you give it a go as well please please do let me know in the comments and let me know on my discord server if you want to post a replay of your lap if you can beat my time in that car and track with inverted controls <laughs> I'd love to see that. Link to my Discord is in the video description. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave it a like, and also maybe consider subscribing to the channel as well, it really does help out, and I can't guarantee there'll be more of this inverted controller content, but there will be plenty more race room content and sim racing content in general, so if you enjoyed this, subscribe, you might enjoy the rest. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, you look after yourselves. Bye bye.